Okay, we're back. Uh, please refresh the page. I'm sure you have. Uh, I refreshed the page because I noticed that the ratio wasn't broadcasting properly. So we're all good. Everything's fine. We're only two minutes late. Are you ready? Let the show begin. Shaka things getting out of hand. <laughs> I got Shaka's to the left of me, Shaka's to the right. I'm stuck in the middle with Shaka. Hey everybody, how's it going? Wow, Larry's pretty on the money today. Hello, welcome to the Bass Guy Show. This is Bass Guy. Bass Guy is a guy that plays the bass online. Uh, we also have people that call into the show. You can call into the show. We have fun. We're broadcasting every weekday, Monday to Friday. We start at exactly 1.15 p.m. till 2.15 p.m. All the shows go up on YouTube later. If you call in, you can go watch the, uh, the show after that night and listen to your own conversation with sound effects that you didn't hear when you called in. So it's a pretty fun show. We have a good time. Anything could happen. Uh, is Kurt illegal? Is is Kurt the illegal substance person? No, that's that's a different guy. Uh, Kurt is my son. He's my child, and he lives in Montreal. Kurt is gig guy, and uh, he's just joined us today. Um, I'm so glad you're here, son. You, I hope you didn't uh, miss yesterday's show on the YouTube's there, uh, son. Look up uh, what was the date yesterday, June 22nd, base guy show. And uh, hey, that's a good way to search a bass guy on YouTube because with the new YouTube channel, it sucks ass so much that you, you have to have a hundred subscriptions before they give you your own personal ULR, a web address. So it's like bass guy, uh, youtube.com slash zero one five fifteen semicolon hashtag, uh, ULR. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, there, uh, web address. I don't know what it's called. I got a, okay. Megan, you're going to have to Skype in and brush me up on my lingo because uh, I, I don't know all the jargons, floppy disks and MP5s and things like that. So I don't know what's going on. So if you want to find us on YouTube, just put in the date. Wow, look at this. We have a brand new caller in. This is going to be exciting, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hello, bass guy. You're uh, live on the show. Hello? Let's see if we got a little bit of technical problem here. Well, I heard it ring. So it rang. Call ended. Well, we had a new caller there. We've had a lot of people join the Skype team. Uh, just call back again. And uh, hopefully we'll get it working the second time. Floppy disks are the latest technology. That's all you need to know. Thank you, son. Thank you for keeping Base Guy straight. Base Guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's a confused man on his journey to the next level, all alone in his one bedroom apartment with no friends and nothing better to do. He plays bass guitar 17 hours a day for a dollar fifty. Bass guy, a guy that plays bass online. <laughs> See, I, I've listened to my own commercials so many times. I go to the New Strings Foundation. Of so please call back in again. We just had a new caller there that was uh, joined our skype team we've had a few people from this is awesome yesterday we had like five people from periscope come to the show and i've been bringing people from concert window into periscope like danny has been, has been going into periscope we haven't got many or stefan i haven't seen them often uh, i don't know if like maybe they're upset at me because like i'm a, a periscope junkie now and uh, yesterday we had uh, Howard join our, I can't wait for Howard to call in. Howard called me the other day, but I was busy with some people at dinner. Um, we have Jeeves from down south with, with his chickens might call in. He, he's a guitar shop owner. And I don't want to reveal too much, not too many spoilers. We would love to have Sloppy on Focus call in and, and it would be great. If you want to be a character, you can be a character. 
we added Sock Cop to the list, right under it, you see, next to Satan. Yesterday, you have to watch yesterday's show. It was epic. I'm going to put up a link to the show. I'll actually put up the link right now so you can find it. And it was the first time Bass Guy did a show with zero edits. Um, usually, I take the show and I chop out all the music bits because um, I don't want to bore people with you know jamming and noodling but yesterday we just we just stuck up the whole video um napoleon dynamite so let me get see if i can get this link before hello bass guy you're live on the air wow i'm talking to the one and only bass guy it's amazing wow you made it on the show thank you so much do you mind if i put you on the uh, camera sir sure go ahead Okay, just give me a second. I have a face for radio, but it's all right. We have high technology here. We basically put the phone on the table, and then we take the webcam, and then we just transition it over, and then the camera falls, and it's it's all very unprofessional. So what's who? I'll let you explain to the audience who you are and what your shtick is. Well, I'm Jeeve Stones, and uh, have to say I'm not the owner of the store. I've worked here for 15 years. And the uh, main reason I'm calling in today is that I know that you're really into spiritual things. And uh, there's some problems here. Shaka! Good Shaka! The store needs to be shocked. Um, one of the 11 dark forces. What are the 11 what? Can you the, know uh, they are? the 11 Shundai. The 11 Shundai. There's one of them that lives in the back of the store for sure. And we got to get rid of him. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, you want to see him? You, who's in the back of your store, sir? One of the eleven Shundai. One of the eleven Shundai. One of the evil Shundais. Yes. Hold wow, on. you really do watch the Base Guy show, don't you, sir? Okay, so we're with Jeeve. Oh my goodness, what the hell is that? <laughs> He's haunting the store. We can't get rid of him. Wow, that is scary. Like, I had no idea. First of all, I had no idea you were going to call in. Second of all, I had no idea that you, you were aware of the eleven Shundai. And then on top of that, it's just, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm so stalling for time here because I'm trying to get the sound effects and everything right. You know, right. Not on the flip side, though, <laughs> the, um, there are some good forces in the store as well. Like uh, right up here is, let's see if I can get it in the camera. I don't know if I can flip the camera around. There, there it is. That's the gold record for that'll be the day from Buddy Holly. Wow. Can we get a close up on right, that? Right next to it is a see can you zoom on scott uh i'm just i'm filming my my phone i haven't figured out that bit of technology yet because i find it easier to move around um so did you say it's buddy holiday buddy holly buddy holly okay buddy holly of yeah course. it's a gold record for that'll be the day the owner of the store's brother used to play with buddy holly let's see he's in this picture right here that's uh that's him right there wow that's awesome yeah, here's a handwritten song list from Buddy Holly. Beautiful. So there's some good good spiritual forces here as well to fight one of the eleven Shundai. That's great. Yeah. I used to play in a, a band in Scotland with Jerry Lee Lewis's daughter, and she told me when she was a kid she used to drive around in the limousine with uh, Buddy Holly and and Johnny Cash and all them. Yeah, um, sometime I'll have to interview uh, Larry Welburn, the guy that played bass with Buddy Holly. He has some very neat stories about Elvis and Buddy and the early pioneer um, pioneering of rock and roll. That's amazing. So, Jeeve, that's your name, right, sir? It's Jeeve? Jeeve. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people say Jeeves because uh, I wasn't, I can't go back and change it, and I used all lowercase letters. On the uh, periscopes. On the periscopes. That's right. Jeeve and I met on Periscope with Sock Cop and satan and a whole bunch of people it's it's pretty fun over there isn't it it's blown up it's huge yeah and it's it's fun because a lot, a lot of people from concert window have been going over to periscope and vice versa so like pe different uh, platforms are are making friends and stuff it's quite interesting we even exactly. we have sloppy focus with us right now on the uh, wall at work oh telephone uh, i have some help here okay uh there's another guy that works here he's been he's a uh, watched uh, your periscope shows and he's a big fan awesome jeev i'm really looking forward to this if you uh call in sometimes maybe we could have a jam together uh just a casual jam. absolutely you know acoustic guitar would do anything 
Sure, sure. Well, uh, I really uh, had a good time talking to you. And I saw your band uh, play a couple of weekends. You're in a uh, country western band. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, it's called the Country Explosion. It's WT's Country Explosion. Uh, it's been one of the longest running bands in the Texoma area since 1971, before I was born. Wow, and the whole band sits down except you. Yes, uh, I'm the last man standing. I could be in that band. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of room for you. I can't wait. Uh, you come down anytime and we'll, we'll set a special spot on the stage just for you. And we had breaking news in the other day that your your chickens are having problems laying eggs. Is that correct, sir? Absolutely. I don't I don't know what I'm going to do with the chickens. D we we forgot to mention it in uh, yesterday's show, but Dr. Nair Mumstead and I we had like an hour long meeting and we discussed about how to help your chickens with uh, rid them of the eleven shundai using the the shaka. <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked and shocked and shocked, and all that happens is I lift up off the ground a little bit higher. Well, if you could, if you could, if you could phone us in one day on our show, uh, I don't know if you're ever at home at that time of the day. If you could f show us your chickens in person, we could maybe get Doctor Nair Mumstead in live, and he could talk to to your chickens. I can do that. So, do you have a, a day off ever, like during the week, or or maybe on the yes, week? Uh, t Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Okay, great. Yeah, if you could call in Wednesday, which is tomorrow, um, and I'll try and get Doctor Nair Mumstead in. And we're going to see if we can set up somewhere where he talks to your chickens. The guy performs miracles. I'm sure, I'm positive he can get your chickens to lay eggs. I'm looking forward to it. Shaka to you, Jeeve. Shaka. Okay, thanks for calling in, eh? That was awesome. All right. Okay, take care. All right, you too. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Jeeve Stones from Periscope, a friend of mine that I met. That was awesome. That was fun. I hope you could hear and see him. Um, multitasking here. It's fun. I'm operating the cameras, doing the sound desk, talking to the person on the phone, reading the wall, and performing live music. It would be a lot easier if Larry got off of his freaking ass and helped me. He's been locked in the bathroom since Sunday, and he refuses to come out. I have to go to Dr. Nair Mumstead's to crap. Good luck with the 11 Shundai, Jeev. Yeah, Kurt, I'm glad you met Jeev. Jeev is an awesome person, good people, positive. Uh, amazing country western guitar player. I was watching his band play the other day and they, they it's so fun to watch because people are like, it's like old folks dancing, like a community thing. And uh, the guys in the band are like in their 60s and 70s and Jeeves is hot picking on the guitar and they're, they're playing the good old boys and all that. It was just, I felt like I was in Alabama or Texas or whatever, you know. Seems to be a lot of people from down south on the internet. So we have been talking for 21 minutes. Uh, Chuck Faustin is now following. My goodness, Chuck Faustin is here. We have uh, Shaka. We have Chuck Faustin from Periscope here. We have Sloppy Unfocused from Periscope here. We have Kurt from Concert Window who has gone to Periscope now. Um, everybody follow Kurt. He's, uh, he does shows here on Concert Window. He's new to Concert Window. And he's, uh, he's w one of the, 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 the top leading pianists, definitely, in Montreal City. And he works in jazz clubs and plays new soul and funk. And he's got an incredible funk albums for sale. Uh, well, pop kind of fusion new soul stuff. It's amazing. You got to check out Kurt. His name is Kurt Shea. And uh, yeah, we're having fun here. I, lo I love these shows. It's not all about trying to get a thousand viewers and be rich and famous and have lots of money and swim in gold and do t Tim Hortons and... Oh God, it sounds so good. Oh, I wish. Lucky. Sweet. This is what's inside my mind. There's not a lot going on in there. So yeah, oh yeah, I need a Tim Hortons. So uh, Satan, not the Satan on the Bass Guy show, but the Satan on Periscope. There's two Satans now, it's really confusing. It kind of works that way, better that way. Hermatia Sperm, uh, well I forget his name, he, he's uh, on Periscope. He's in Canada right now. And uh, we were c communicating and he was telling me that Canada is full of dicks. And uh, he, he got stuck in Walmart and he said it was worse than hell. And uh, I don't know. 
He got locked out of his hotel room. There's a whole bunch of fun stuff that happens over in Periscope, and we're hoping that to bring it over here. This is a live music show. We do play music. Uh, yesterday, Barry was in, Dr. Near Mumstead, and we jammed. We did uh, Laundry Man and Donna Lee. Today, I'm tired and hot and sweaty. It's very hot in this room. It's 75, 77% humidity right now. And Bass Guy is stubborn and doesn't like air conditioning because it's bad for the environment. Um, let's go into Periscope right now and see what's happening on there. If there's nothing happening, we'll just turn it off and we'll play some live music. And where is Manny and Stefan? Maybe I can show you. Um, well, yeah, let's, let's look into the... Uh, Let's venture into the world of Periscope. Let's go. Sock Cop was on today. He doesn't usually do day shows, but today he did. And this is titled Sock Cop Drinks Coffee Indoors Today. It's Too Hot. <laughs> oh, I could put it like this, but you're not going to see it very well. So we'll just do this for like two minutes and then we'll start with some live music. How's it going, everybody? How's it going? Good mornings, good afternoons, and good nights, wherever you are watching in the world. What is going on? Yeah, you finally called me last sweet G. Yes, indeed. Yo, how's it going? Yes, cops. Early day. Yeah, we're doing it early today. Holy guacamole and early score. That's right, doing the magic. I'm enjoying some coffees, enjoying some coffees. You know, check this out. Yeah, rare daytime appearance. Doesn't happen often. Does not happen. Uh, Satan sort. Satan. Satan horse says. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I don't have any donuts. Red and Link loving no donuts. It's just the coffees. How do sick cop? Yes, indeed. Yo, how do you how do you do? How do you do? I was drinking some coffees. Check this out. No, I'm not. I'm not off today. I gotta go to work. Gotta go to work. Gotta do some patrolling here a little bit. Yeah, you're not fighting exhaustion. Yeah, you're nice and light. You might not like me if you're fully awake. You might not like me if you're fully awake. Oh, oh good morning, cat. Good morning, cat. How's it going? How's it going, kitty cat? You want some coffees? You want some coffees? You up from the cat nap? Doing the stuff? I love the great saying too. That guy's hilarious. Take coffee with the sock cop. Yes, indeed. Yo. <laughs> No, my, my good buddies, uh, they sent me some of it. Look, check this out, check this out. Hold, hold, please. Your call is very important to us. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang <laughs> on. Yeah, look at this. My buddy's over down at the it's Slick Chick. Send me some of this coffee. Periscope and and uh, it's delicious. New friend, it is delicious. Uh, I got to take Whoops, it fell over. Our new friend, Satan Hermatia. And uh, yeah, it's fun. So just showing why not, you know. I like to do different things here. Today, we're going to do some green screening. We're going to play some uh, nice quiet calm ballads and then uh maybe beak will be around as well who else is there there's yarny this is our friend howard uh who is also completely awesome one of the nicest people you could ever meet and he has a character called uh, yarny Are you still with me? I apologize for the delay. I had to give someone uh, a hand with something. They needed my help. Uh, that was really cool. I, I kind of recognize the number. Like I, I screen some of my calls in case it's like bad people or whatever. And uh, we were periscoping there. I was showing you my friend Howard and Sock Cop. And then I got a call from, uh, from a guy from the future. Uh, about a month ago, probably over a month ago, uh, I would give you a hand, but looks like you already have one. Oh, thank you. If six W, oh, if six was nine, cool. Shaka. If six was nine, who are you? You, uh, you obviously like Jimi Hendrix. I found a laptop by the beach last month, a uh, Mac 
uh, pro light, they're o worth over a thousand dollars, and his PhD and everything was in there. And I tried to contact this guy for a, for a week. I, I wrote everywhere. I even wrote to a supervisor, and finally, he's come back from holiday and he's found out where I, who I am, and everything. So he's coming here in forty five minutes to come uh, collect his laptop. Uh, you know me from Periscope if six was nine. So that's great. This guy's gonna come get his laptop back um, And it's gonna be back in his hands where it belongs uh, I was on the beach in my favorite lake spot. Some of you might have seen me there with beak uh, on Periscope I go to the beach and there's a Mac laptop just sitting there and I was there for like an hour And I figured well this guy's not gonna you know and it was about to rain and there was other people walking around so I took it and uh, wrote to him and returned it so peace has been restored <laughs> we will go to some music there's just uh, the concert windows taking a whole new thing for for me uh, with the periscopes I didn't expect it to work people from periscope are coming on to my show and vice versa and uh, all I all I can honestly say is shaka so let's make sure the phone lines are on again uh because i want to be able to take phone calls hello uh this is bass guy in the uh the base basement hope you're well everybody whoever everybody is do it again uh so we need a shaka that's right this is just a quick hello um i was just watching sock cop i wish i could go stay and watch him but i gotta start my little silly show now so i was gonna check in and play some guitar for you and say hello but time got carried away and it's actually oh shit the show starts right now here I'm gonna show you how I start my little show uh, I've got a little show here concertwindow.com forward slash bass guy hello Nikki hello Mark how you doing um, sock cops on right now so go watch him and I'm gonna start my show now so there's the computer there's my little studio I call it there's the green screen it's a lot bigger than it looks and uh, to start the show, I just go on to my broadcaster. Hi there, how you doing? Uh, so now you're watching uh, Bass Guy Square. So I just got to start the show and then I got to put on hey, Bass music. Guy. Hey Desert, how you doing? I start the show at 1. It's already 1.04, so I'm late. And okay, then so we're going to start this some music as well. We were just uh, checking out. Let's make sure that Skype is on and everything is, else is off so we don't drain the resources. Okay, so the lines are open. If you want to call in, you can call in on the phone now. And uh, we're super sidetracked today. I do apologize. Larry has been locked in the bathroom since uh, Sunday, and we're trying to get things going. You're watching the Bass Guy Show Monday to Friday, every day, uh, weekday, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., which is an actual fact, 1.15 to 2.15 p.m. And you can reach us on Twitter and then reach us on Periscope if you want to come have fun with us. Uh, hello to our viewers for watching today. Thank you, Jamie Wise, for tuning in. Thank you, uh, Vermoos, for tuning in, and Desert Rose. We also have my son, Kurt, online. Chuck Faustine is here. Sloppy Unfocused in New Jersey. Um, and I'm hoping that Stefan and many come in. I'm going to go to a literal, literally one-minute commercial break and then we're going to play some bass guitar for you. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. Love you all. No fear. Shaka. You're a gentleman, a scholar. We're so glad you're here. Jamie Wise, ladies and gentlemen. I want everybody in the room. Desert Rose, the six was nine, who I don't know who you are still. Um, everybody, Kurt, everybody say hello to Jamie Wise. Crow has been ill, but he's better now and he's completely recovered. Uh, he's going to be coming into the show live as well, like Dr. Nir Mum said. And our band Skrank, we have zero pressure, zero gigs, <laughs> and 100% fun. And we write songs about real life. So we wrote songs about refrigerators. Um, we wrote songs about crusty dust bugs that we found. And this song is about a sandwich. So I hope you enjoy it. Larry, can I have some drums, please? Some uh, slight reverb on my voice. Thank you. Turn up the game, please, Larry. Larry's our producer. Uh, what key should we do this in? I'm going to put headphones on for this. 
then I could turn up the volume. I used to use headphones all the time, but uh, as you can see, it's a struggle. Reality sandwich. Reality sandwich. Reality sandwich. Reality sandwich. Hey, where are we? Who are you? Are we even here? Where am I? What's even going on? I'm hungry. If you wanted to feel, then it's gotta be real. If you wanted to move, then it's gotta groove. If you wanna get high, real life is something to buy. So sing about real life. All your pains, problems, and strife. Come on, everybody. Reality sandwich. Reality sandwich. Reality sandwich. Reality sandwich. Who are you? Where am I? Is this even real? We just don't even exist? And then all of a sudden you exist? And then you don't exist again? Reality sandwich Reality sandwich Reality sandwich Ladies and gentlemen Bass guy has been playing the saxophone for 35 years all across Europe. And now here he is live on Concert Window on saxophone for the first time. Hello, Dell. That's me on the saxophone. Thank you very much. Who are you? Please stop. But who are we to judge? This reality smudge. The secret to appeal. Is you gotta keep it real it, So say it like it is And be a conscious whiz It's called the real deal Let it be your next meal Reality sandwich Reality sandwich, man Reality sandwich Reality sandwich Reality sandwich Reality sandwich. It's raining vomit. Reality sandwich. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Jimi Hendrix, permission to do a bass solo. Please come in, Jimmy. Starfleet 2 Scout Ship, will you please give me your position? Over. This is Bass Guy, Mr. Hendrix. We're currently on the planet Mars. Over. <laughs> May this be Earth. Over. Uh, no, Jimmy, this is Mars. Do you want to come over and check it out? <laughs> well, we'll just take a look, then. Here? Where am I? I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, it's you, Tom, how amazing and special you are. Shaka! Need some time out? Need a break? Tired of the 9 to 5 rat race? Need to just stop and be alone for a freaking second? Well, Bass Guy is here for you. Bass Guy understands and wants to be there for you. Bass Guy wants you to smile, breathe, and relax. <sighs> Let it all out. There, that's much better. Bass Guy. He's on your side. Now let's enjoy some live music, stupid gimmicks, conversation, and good old-fashioned life. Bass Guy is here. No fear. Oh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was really fun. You know, life is just like that sometimes. Let's do it all again tomorrow. It's already time to go. We still have another 14 minutes, Sloppy Unfocused. Thank you, uh, Sloppy. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Veminus2000, the ultra... EMC. Uh, good show, much success. Thank you. If you enjoy the show, please press the follow button. Uh, I'm not sure what that does, but it sounds good to me. We have all of these different people that call into our show. You can call into the show if you like. It's very easy there on guitar on the far right. And we have fun with this show. And Bass Guy never likes to just rest in one place. I'm always trying. Oh, big truck going by. Listen to that beast. I love the smell of cylinder diesel oil fuel in the morning. So we're always trying new things at Bass Guy. We're always fooling around with technology, musicians, ideas. We're, we're engaging with different platforms. We're having a relationship with uh, Periscope right now that we uh, that we love doing. If you want to check out our band Scrank, because Dr. Nermumstead was here yesterday, um, we haven't played in many months, but there's a documentary on YouTube called Scrank. And if you look it up, uh, I think you will be 
guaranteed a few laughs. It's a 20 minute mockumentary, sort of like Spinal Tap. And uh, Dr. Nair Mumstead is just an incredible person. He's just a, a guide and inspiration to us all. He is the inventor of the uh, holy shaka. Shaka. Shaka to you all. Oh, the shaka is so powerful. That's the shaka stance. You just hold your arms like that and you just yell shaka and everything is amazing. Hey, Gary Lucas, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, you're here from the beginning of the show. Oh, sorry, Gary, I didn't see you. I'm, I'm multitasking here. Um, I was hoping Larry, our producer, would call in. He's been locked in the bathroom for days and I've been running the show on my own. Um, but, well, someone's driving by now with uh, the pimped up stereo system. He's a really, really good, uh, really good producer. Um, you can check this show out later on YouTube. Um, if you want to check out any of my music, it's all available for free uh, listening. And you can, like, you know, everybody knows how these things work. You can't, you can't, like, not let people hear your music. So if you like the artist, you support the artist or whatever. Uh, Sloppy bought an album yesterday and we sent it off to her email. Thank you for that. We sometimes play games and give away albums. But just at your own, uh, you know, at your own will. What else have we got here? I've got a whole bunch of other websites where I do a whole bunch of crazy stuff, so... You unclog the toilet with the plunger of your imagination. Okay, we just had an act, two acts of good faith here. Wow, it's hot. I just met a stranger who just came into uh, Bass Guy's living room. He's one of the only people who has ever been here during the Bass Guy show because it's like a secret. Anyone got six million dollars? Manny, how you doing? Um, okay, let me explain this. About a month and a half ago, I went down to my lake spot, and it's a place where I go to meditate. Well, meditate. I just sit there and watch the beavers. And uh, I found a laptop there the other day, about a month and a half ago. It was a Mac Pro Air Lite, and I looked it up, and the thing's like worth fourteen hundred dollars or something. Mm -hmm. Guy's a PhD PhD student, um, and a kayaker, and I tried. A hundred ways to contact him through Facebook and his work and everything and nothing, you know, because all I had was his name on his textbook, and uh, yeah, he's from this for this space school. So he just came. He just phoned me during the show. I recognized that the number was a bit uh, of an odd number, so I screened the call. We talked. His name is uh, let's just say his name is Ian, and he found his lap. I found his laptop, and a month and a half later, uh, it was just returned to him. And he just came into the studio, and he, he was curious about like what we were doing here, so I explained it to him. And look what he brought, base guy. Ugh. He brought base guy a twelve case of uh, home brewed Chamblay beer, in Montreal. So it's party time. Isn't that amazing? He just came by and, and gave Bass Guy a beer, a case of beer. I spoke to him shortly, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna tune in and watch the show. I gave him the name of the show, and so hopefully he's gonna uh, tune in. Maybe we should just stay online all day. You can watch. Wouldn't that be fun? That'd be entertainment. Watch Bass Guy drink twelve beers in a row. <laughs> Is Bass Guy funnier when he's drunk? So, one of the characters in our show, we, we made him a fictional character. We were talking last month about time machines and everything, that we found one on the beach. And I just told him, we made you part of the show. And uh, we, re we returned his uh, laptop, and uh, as an act of good faith and, and kindness, he gave Base Guy a case of fancy beers. What a show. What a show, right? Eh? Well, I guess that's the end of the show. We don't have time for another song, but I just want to say that I thank you good people. Love you all. Get it off your shoulders, stupid. Thanks, Sloppy. I was trying to make it part of the show. Um, thank you, Manny. Is that Satan on the cover of the box? I think it is. Yeah, look. It's heavy. Base guy is not supposed to lift more than 15 pounds. Oh. Oh. 
That was great. So from bass guy to you, cheers everybody. Look at that. There's steam coming out of the bottle. Love you, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. No fear. We'll see you again soon. Shaka!